Technical skills alone aren't enough to succeed in data analytics. In this video, I'll tell you the non-technical skills you need to become a data analyst. If you want to become a data analyst, you need to learn to write code in SQL, build visualizations in a tool like Tableau or Power BI, and work with data in Microsoft Excel. However, to become a great data analyst, you can't stop there. You also need a set of non-technical skills, also called soft skills, to allow you to work well with people, solve problems, and provide value. Some good news is if you're transitioning into data analytics from another line of work, you've probably already picked up many of these skills and they can transfer over to data analytics. So without further ado, let's talk about these skills and why you need to learn them. First and arguably most important is communication. If you want to be a great data analyst, you need to know how to communicate well. What does this look like, you ask? This means effectively managing stakeholder expectations, asking the right questions whenever you've received a data ask, and it also means effectively communicating your results of a data ask to both technical and non-technical audiences. Data analytics is a collaborative sport, and to collaborate, you gotta be able to communicate. Non-technical skill number two is problem solving. And while they aren't the same thing, I'm also gonna combine this with critical thinking. Data analysts and data engineers are two completely different jobs. However, I like to think of myself as an engineer. As a part of my job, I encounter many different kinds of challenges and it's up to me to come up with unique solutions. As a data analyst, you don't just try something, it not work, and then you give up. No, you keep trying things, you keep researching until you find the best way to do something or at least something that works. The good news is you're allowed to cheat. If you're always taking new courses, watching videos on YouTube, and Googling how to do different things, you're probably providing a lot of value. As data analysts, we must learn to live in ambiguity, so this means trying new things to come up with new solutions. Non-technical skill number three is time management. As a data analyst, we are often balancing several big projects and a bunch of little projects at the same time, so time management is incredibly important. A good strategy is prioritizing in terms of urgency and importance. You want to prioritize the projects that are needed most quickly and the things that are most important to your organization. As an entry level or lower level data analyst, your boss will probably help you a lot with trying to prioritize all of your different projects. However, as you grow into a senior analyst and beyond, it is important that you know how to prioritize your time well, so I recommend you start immediately learning about time management. Non-technical skill number four is business acumen slash industry knowledge. As a data analyst, you gotta understand the data you're working with, and that means understanding the industry you work in and common business lingo. In my second data analyst job, I worked with pharmacy data. I don't come from a pharmacy background, so whenever I first started, I really didn't understand a lot of the data I was working with. To overcome that, I commonly met with people I worked with, including pharmacists and nurses, as well as other data professionals, and asked a lot of questions. And through that, I began to understand the pharmacy business a lot more, and that helped me succeed in my job as a data analyst. And that's exactly what you should do. If you land a job as a data analyst in a field you know nothing about, Meet with your coworkers, ask questions, watch YouTube videos, read books, whatever you gotta do to understand the business. And finally, non-technical skill number five is a passion for learning. As I said before, a big part of becoming a data analyst is finding unique solutions to problems, but how can you find new solutions if you don't know about them? Therefore, if you wanna be a great data analyst, you better love learning. This means learning new tools is needed, learning better ways to do things, and doing a lot of research whenever you encounter problems. Doing these things will help you grow quickly and rapidly increase your value as a data analyst. Obviously, there are a ton of other non-technical skills I could add to this list, including adaptability, attention to detail, and curiosity, but these are some of the skills that I'm most passionate about and they will make a huge difference in your career. Let me know in the comments which of the skills I mentioned you think is most important, also, let me know if there are any skills that I left out that you think should be added to this list. And if you want to become a data analyst, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. I post a brand new video every single week helping you become the best data analyst that you can be. And with that, I'll see you next week.